Alrighty, so I pulled out my rear mainsail on my 3 liter Vulcan V6 out of my Ranger and um, it seems, and it was easy, it seems to be the trend the trend is, is to drill a small little hole you know, in this area and then screw in a screw and and I thought, well, you know, a small drill bit, they're flimsy and you know, <laughs> And you're under the car trying to drill this and I thought man so you know and then the drill can just walk all over the place if if you don't do a center punch and so I thought well if I'm gonna do a center punch so the drill won't walk around I might as well just take a nail and just poke a small little hole in there and so I had this this is like a big three inch nail heavy duty and so I just put it in that area um, you know, put it in kind of in the middle of the area, and I just poked a small little hole, and then I, uh, and then I took my, where did it go? Oh, right here. A little two-inch grabber type screw, and just threaded it in there, and not very far, um, but as you can see, it's just right. I don't know if I can get a good view here. It's just kind of right in that middle area there um, and then I used my claw hammer and just clawed it up against the crankshaft and it came right out so it was really simple I was worried about it um, but like I said there's no point in drilling a hole you know and risking the drill bit breaking or you know having it walk somewhere where you don't want it to go and if you gotta use a center punch just poke a small hole and it was really simple um, the, Seal's not that thick in that one area to poke through, but just try to aim, aim it so that you're going to get it, you know, in that middle, get a good focus here, in that middle area, you know, not too close to the crank and not too close to the block, you know, kind of in the middle-ish, and then just put in a screw. Um, my new seal is this guy from Felpro. It is a BS40646. Four zero six four six. Four zero six four six. It's a PTF seal, um, which they say is better than the rubber one. They sell both of them, rubber and PTFE. Um, but they said this was better. So it comes with this seal installation tool that you slip over the end of the crank and then you just push it on and then you take the seal out when you're done, or the tape, you take the installation tool out when you're done. So um, we'll see if we can get this put in without too much problem. So the surface where the seal rides on the crank looks a little rusty and it has some spots on it. I'm gonna see if I can kind of polish this up a little bit with some Scotch-Brite. See if I can get my surface to look a lot better so that hopefully it seals. If I can get a good try and get a focus here. But yeah, it doesn't look all that pretty. So let's see if I can clean this up. So it looks a lot cleaner. It looks really scratched up, but I don't think my scotch right did all that because I wasn't that rough on it. But it uh, it's cleaning up really well. I just need to go around the whole thing now and make sure that it's all, you know, it's all clean. There's no, I don't know, just to kind of help the seal. So what I'm using is I have got a piece of scotch bright that I put on a little toothbrush here that I uh, I sanded off or I cut down the bristles on my toothbrush real low and then I just kind of stuck this piece of scotch bright on there and I can stick that up in there and kind of polish it up uh, and I'm using I'm also using some gas to kind of help clean it too so that's what I'm doing it seems to be working pretty good. You don't have a lot of room to get in there. Um, but yeah, just a toothbrush and some and some 
you know, some scotch bray. So it's tinning up pretty good. So I got it on. Uh, it went over that insulation, that plastic insulation piece pretty good. Uh, slipped over the crank. And then, uh, and then I just kind of used this bolt thingy to tap around the outside of it um, until it went in. And it's pretty much it's a little bit recessed over here, but for the most part it's flush all the way around. I think I may have gone a little bit too deep on this side. But anyway, it's in. Let's hope that it, uh, let's hope it seals and there's no more leaking from the crank.